Hello and welcome to this short film on Cinderford Town Centre. It's about our vision and our proposals as part of the bid to government and their future high street fund. Before we share with you our ideas, I'd like to pass you on to Councillor Chris Witham, who's Chairman of Cinderford Town Council. Hello, I'm Chris Witham, Chairman of Cinderford Town Council. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well during these strange and difficult times. The coronavirus has impacted all our lives, but despite all the disruption caused, work continues on our bid for the future High Street Fund. We want to take this opportunity to share some of those plans with you and to get your feedback so that we know that the bid we submit to the government over the summer is one that represents all of the views of the residents of Cinderford. Many of you have already told us how you would like your future High Street to look. And we think now is a great opportunity to consider how we build our community going forwards. The coronavirus has given us a great opportunity to consider what is important in our lives. We've seen a great emphasis on local services, local carers, local businesses, and the local community. We want to take this opportunity to ensure our bid for the future High Street Fund sees a high street and a vision that we want together going forwards. The future High Street Fund could see millions of pounds of investment in the Cinderford Town Centre and we want to really ensure that that is suitable for the needs and wishes of our community. I'd really encourage you to watch this video, to look at the plans, to give us your feedback and to engage in the process of designing our future High Street. I'd also like to ask you to stay safe, stay at home, protect our key workers and the NHS, and to look after one another, as I know the community of Cinderford does. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and questions. As mentioned, the UK's High Street faces major issues and challenges over the coming months. When you look at Cinderford, however, it is a great place for food shopping with food stores, butchers and bakers. Like across the UK, it does fall short though on non-food shopping. It has a culture of takeaways in terms of food and drink and needs more depth. However, it's got a real strength in the independent business sector, as well as banks and local services. The key challenges for us and the main objective of this bid to government is about dealing with traffic, dealing with a, a rising vacancy rate and trying to get more people back on the high street. It's also good to understand the story of a place such as Cinderford. The following short film is from PCSO Susan Pritchard of Gloucestershire Constabulary, who last year took part and helped out young people explain their thoughts on Cinderford Town Centre through the rich picturing exercise. Okay. Hi, I'm Sue Pritchard. I'm a police community support officer based at Gloucestershire uh, Constabulary. I'm, um, I've been in the police force for 17 years and 14 years of that I've spent in Cinderford Town Centre um, working as uh, in the community as a neighbourhood police in um, PCSO. Um, part of the role that I do is communicate uh, with the um, lots of different people. Um, it could be that they've got disabilities, um, elderly, the young. I go into schools and work with a lot of the schools as well. Um, and even children that are getting into trouble, um, so they might be drug users or um, issues with alcohol or antisocial behaviour. Um, one of the things that I've started doing to help to communicate with those people uh, and help within the community is what we call rich picturing. Rich picturing uh, of what they see the town to look like. So what we, um, I've gone into some of the schools recently and got them to draw a picture of Cinderford Town Centre, um, specifically from the triangle um, working out from what they see with their own eyes. So they draw a picture, um, only about 10 minutes they spend on it, drawing a picture of what they think it looks like for them. And then they draw a second picture of what 
um, they'd like it to look like. So if they had um, absolutely endless um, amount of money, how they would like it to look like. So some of the young um, people that I got to draw the picture were constantly getting into trouble with antisocial behaviour um, and they were um, sort of getting involved in crime. Uh, we got them to draw the picture of what they wanted uh, or what they thought the town looked like and very much they put barriers up um, sort of barbed wire around uh, different people that they maybe wouldn't um, congregate with so foreign nationals that maybe don't speak English they see those as a barrier um, one of the other things which is interesting this is bear in mind this is young people that are getting into trouble and, and very often in isolation um, at school or um, due to be excluded so they actually drew um, that the zebra crossing was in the wrong place and they could see elderly people trying to cross the road while there was cars coming up and down um, there was nowhere for them to um, congregate so what's our vision for Cinderford Town Centre it's about a place that's social that's cultural, about business and about community. It's more than retail. I'm now going to pass you on to Councillor Chris Brown, who's been the lead town councillor linked to the Future High Street Fund, who will explain a bit more. All over the country, we've seen people's shopping habits, social needs and working lives change, almost beyond all recognition when Sinford Town Centre last received significant investment. Throughout this application process, we have seen examples of similar towns that survived and thrived despite having similar challenges to ourselves. We have taken what we've learned and listened to the feedback received from you last year to come up with a vision to not only transform Sydney for Town Centre, but safeguard it for generations to come. Our vision consists of larger pedestrianised spaces where people can feel safe, where they can sit outside, eat, drink and socialise, about the noise and pollution of constant traffic. We need a space that can accommodate a larger number of community events and a bigger, better, regular marketplace. We will also create a number of new attractive green spaces to not only improve the look of our town, but provide a safer, more sustainable place for us all to live. The British weather means that we can't do everything outside. So we'll also invest in indoor space including a community and arts centre where we can run activities and showcase our amazing local talents from musicians to dance groups, theatre and literature all year round. Research tells us that people spend more money and time where they work. So we want to make it even easier for people to work within our town centre within vibrant co-working spaces. This will increase the footfall in the town whilst bringing cars on the road down. We should all feel proud of our town centre, not only in the way it looks and the way it functions, but also, importantly, in the way that it feels. It should be the centre of community activity and community life. Hopefully, what we've proposed so far reflects this. Thank you for your support. So that's our vision. What's our plan? We have five projects that are worth £5 million that will be delivered over five years. Our first focus is on the Bellevue campus, which is looking at safeguarding and growing community and cultural activity in the Methodist Church. Secondly, we're looking at adding in more enterprise space in Rayola House. And finally, looking at the provision of affordable family living in Acorn House, all within an improved setting of the Bellevue campus site. Our next area of focus is the GP surgery site next to Cooperative Food Store. This surgery is soon to move to Valley Road and will then be owned by Cinderford Town Council. Our proposal here is for a mixed use scheme involving a pocket park for young families and children. We're also looking at whether or not we can also accommodate uh, some new in town living with two to three bed homes. The scheme will also have good linkage into the High Street. Moving on to Market Street, our next area of focus is to look at the former HSBC Bank, which has been bought by Cinderford Town Council. Our ideas here are for a co-working and enterprise space for small businesses and freelance workers, a test space for artists, makers and creatives, a place for a snack, 
Plus it will also have links into the triangle area for events, activities and festivals. In with the triangle, our final project is to look at the high street and the triangle area, which is a key part of Cinderford Town Centre. The proposals here are to look at creating more pedestrian space, better frontages, more places to cross, more trees and planting, a space for events and activities and perhaps festivals, and a much more enjoyable space to dwell. We need to really make this road into a street, a civilised street. Now you've heard from us about our proposals, it's now your chance to have your say. You can do this in a number of ways. One, you can fill in our online survey. Two, you can email the town clerk at Cinderford Town Council. And finally, you can follow us on social media and help us to support our bid. We are really grateful that you have taken the time out to view this short film, view our ideas and hopefully give us feedback. During these times, please stay safe and keep well.